Far right now, we're all far right now. Peterson, Rogan, Shapiro, e -I -E -I -E -I -O. We Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. You've probably heard the phrase, the left camp meme, and really what that means is the quote, right-leaning comedy these days is really just calling things out for what they are. Chances are, if you don't subscribe to radical gender ideology, or open border policies, you're considered far right. Basically, if you're just a normal centrist to the left, you're far right. Check this out. <laughs> I think he's supposed to be dressed like Jordan Peterson. Polite and smart and punctual is white supremacist good to be. You answered for your actions. And a woman was a she. <laughs> You'd stand up for your people. If needs be, even fight. But now, if you uphold such values, then you are far right. Far right. <laughs> oh. We're all far right now. We're all far right now. Peterson, Rogan, Shapiro, E-I-E-I-E-I-O. We worship Mussolini, his portraits in the loft. <laughs> Must say Twitter, hi or Hitler, we're all far right now. Oh, you say you're in the middle. A moderate individual, a Gladstonian liberal. You once laughed at Donald Trump. You're probably a fascist too. <laughs> there once was a great speaker called Martin Luther King, said characters what matters, not the colour of your skin. But conduct doesn't count now, just your identity. True. If you should ever question this, you're racist, obviously. obviously. Oh. <laughs> We're all racist now, we're all racist now Off to the gallows we must go E-I-E-I-E-I-O Worse than Winston Churchill, worse than Enoch Powell Ku Klux Klan and Jimmy Fallon We're all racist now Oh, the countryside is racist Dogs and cats are racist Eating meat is racist Black lives matters even racist Do you know what's also racist? You! <laughs> Found out I am dyslexic. I thought I was just thick. My son, he is dyspraxic. I'd presumed he was a dick. My mother is bulimic. My mate's got OCD. My girlfriend is bipolar. That gives me anxiety. Oh, we're all mental now. We're all mental now. Off to the madhouse, we must go. La 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 la. Nutty as a fruitcake, demented and deranged. Cuckoo, psycho, wacko, loco. We're all mental now. Oh my, what is coming next? What is coming next? What is coming next? Oh my, what is coming next? We're probably all pedos too. Dirty little pedo hanging round the Lido in little speedos. Far right. Obviously, this is calling out the lunacy that is essentially if you're a traditional liberal, if you're a centrist, if you're maybe even slightly left of center, these days you're considered far right. So if you think that we should have, I don't know, a border as a country, especially if you're a welfare state, which is a pretty logical conclusion to come to, right? If you're going to give handouts to your citizens, you should probably make sure said citizens are in fact citizens. However, these days, that's considered far right unless you prescribe to the most radical leftist ideas in the eyes of the media, in the eyes of those who really advocate on behalf of the establishment. You are a far right white supremacist bigot. You name all the terms they use and you are those things. He also highlights the tendency for society to prescribe some sort of mental disorder to really any type of human behavior. Turns out I'm dys dyslexic. I thought I was just thick. And thick in this case means like dense, like maybe you struggle a little bit with reading. There were all these sorts of human characteristics that are really just a result of diversity 
of the way the human brain works that are now prescribed mental conditions. And oftentimes you'll see the umbrella term used neurodivergent. And really what this comes down to is taking identity politics to the nth degree, extrapolating it out as far as you can go to where no matter what, if you subscribe to this ideology, you can find a quote disenfranchised group that you're a part of. Because if you're a far leftist and you happen to be, I don't know, a straight white male, well, that doesn't cut it. You're not in any oppressed group. But good news, now you can say, I have ADD. I'm dyslexic. I think I'm on the spectrum and so on and so forth. So it's really a result of this victim mentality culture to where the victors are the bad ones. You don't want to be a strong, independent free-minded, hard worker, because that's a... That's white supremacy. My God, you don't want to be that. So you have to show that you're oppressed in some way to climb the hierarchy of intersectionality. I think it's a beautifully done video that really highlights all the ridiculous hypocrisy of our modern culture and how we have glorified things that traditionally were not worthy of glorification. Let me know what you guys think about this. I, this is brilliant. What was this dude's name? Let me... Let me pull this up again. Dominic Frisbee. I think he's I think he's from the UK, somewhere like that. I had never heard of this guy until now. This is beautifully done. I love this type of comedy. I think stuff like this needs to happen. And I think that it is a very well packaged message that's basically getting at the core rot of our society. I'd be curious to know your thoughts. Just kudos to this guy. More of this, please. I haven't spent a lot of time on his channel. Maybe he does have a lot more stuff like this. I'm going to take a look and I encourage you to do the same and uh, show him some support. Comedy is in a new golden era, I think, where you have guys like Joe Rogan, who's really had this massive pilgrimage to the Austin area and all the best comedians of our day are going down there and Comedy is just looking at the reality of the situation we find ourselves in, calling it out, nothing more, nothing less, and that is funny to people. There's always a nugget of truth to good comedy. This music video is no exception, and uh, I think it's beautiful. I love it. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel. Please show some support by giving this video a like. Throw a comment down below. I love you. I appreciate you. Until next time, see you later.